Good morning, guys. So, real estate. Oh my god, it's a real problem for investors. Eh? Real estate. What you see is that people um, become billionaires usually on probably 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 billionaires they buy their own house and that's it and they usually stick with that house even when they become billionaires they still live in that house that's way below their living standard um, and and and, and um, but it's interesting that they do buy their own house uh, I have yet to do that and I've also yet to become a billionaire so maybe I'll have to wait for that but uh, I'm really no fan of real estate. Uh, it's just the mind trouble of it that really bothers me. Um, even if it's my own house, I know it's already with a rental that I want things perfect. And so uh, I start to change this and that. And, uh, and uh, before you know it, you wasted uh, so many man hours on something that really doesn't make money um, uh, and uh, you can if you like it goes against the the, 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 the very important idea that specialization um, is key in life uh, in this kind of society we live in you have to specialize become good at something make money with that and all the rest you buy you don't do yourself huh? so it's for uh, everything uh, like fixing things in the home or, 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 or uh, whatever anything you need in life it's much better to buy it from someone else uh, and specialize into something instead of wanting to do it yourself uh, um, yeah um, and even when you have specialize into something uh, you should continue to specialize more into it and and, and, and basically kick out uh, the things that um, that, uh, that, that that are not your uh, core business so um, uh, uh, real estate uh, as an investor uh, uh, my opinion on real estate is that it's all about timing like anything else uh, real estate uh, does not go up in real value all the time that's not true uh, you have to account for real inflation in every country that's a lot higher than what's generally uh, acknowledged uh, and so for example for Europe and the US it's about 5% per year mm. and you will see that um, uh, mm, that that um, that the value of your land goes up with about the same rate on average uh, and so it does not really go up huh? uh, it just stays flat it just goes up in US dollar or euro value but it's not going up in real purchasing power uh, you buy that piece of land you sell it after 10 years or 40 years well what do you have for sale well the same piece of land you have for sale and what's the value of that it's the same value uh, you can buy the same amount of um, goods with it in the store um, um, not much more um, and so that's the same, of course true for everything it's true for gold uh, you get buy a, a kilogram of gold well you still have a kilogram of gold 50 years later nothing more uh, and nothing less that's the nice thing about gold or land or a stock index you buy that you're pretty sure you're still gonna have it in 50 years that's nice uh, in contrast to um, many more risky investments and that's why people usually like to buy some real estate uh, to have that security to have some savings um, uh, in case things turn bad uh, but but um, the problem with real estate um, is that it's overvalued in that uh, we don't have decent money anymore uh, less and less uh, um, and um, and, and real estate is being used as a savings uh, instrument uh, and that's why you see often buildings that are just empty or land that's not used because people buy it not to really use it but just as a savings instrument uh, and that's because we have very bad money eh? this is now changing with crypto we're gonna get a lot 
better money and, and so uh, the demand for um, fiat money, gold, but also real estate is the, the biggest asset class in the world, uh, will go down from, uh, uh, an, I've, I, 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 the investment demand will go down. Um, there's also been just a generation, generational bubble in real estate, um, uh, and that's also a problem uh, for the the, the youth. Um, uh, if you look at the man hours, people need to work uh, to buy real estate. It's very, 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 very high, uh, and it's not for the house that sits on it. It's for the land. Eh? Uh, and, and, and on average, people have these false ideas about real estate that um, uh, that uh, while well, land is a, a limited supply resource, it's not true, guys. Just take Google Maps and look at that city that you think has a limited amount of land, and you will see uh, very close by huge plots of empty land uh, that is valued very lowly uh, and that will be uh, developed uh, uh, will become land that will be used by humans uh, and, and so your land is competing with all the empty land 99% of the land is empty only 1% uh, uh, or less has houses sitting on it uh, so, so that's really an illusion uh, that land is a limited supply it's true that in, uh, of course in the city centers well uh, that's a limited supply land and I, I do think indeed that if you buy land in um, uh, city centers that will grow a lot in the future then the value of your land will go up a lot in the future also but you need to pick those cities that grow a lot and uh, that's not European or uh, that's not Western cities uh, for the most part uh, so um, uh, and there's also a problem with scaling like uh, real estate when you make investments you should be able to scale them uh, meaning if it's a good investment that you can easily plow in more money uh, and that you can uh, uh, also take it out uh, when there's a bubble. This is uh, quite a job with real estate. Eh? Mm, but uh, uh, you do have uh, some uh, more liquid instruments, um, uh, of course, uh, that does exist, uh, real estate uh, indexes and ETFs and stuff. But then we're not talking about buying real estate. Eh? Uh, that's, that's a different kind of investment. Um, so, 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 I would say that that that, that in the West, uh, real estate is not as much in a bubble as it used to be. Uh, in uh, uh, there was a huge final bubble in real estate uh, after the dot com bust collapsed in 2000. We had uh, the money flowing uh, into real estate and real estate in the West and US and Europe going up by 10% uh, per year. Um, um, and in 2006 even by 20 percent uh, and um, and that was the last year 2007 uh, the trouble started and uh, and then uh, real estate has uh, busted in the west uh, some countries went down with 30 percent 40 percent like the us and the netherlands others like belgium it stayed flat real estate uh, for the last five to ten years uh, but if you look at uh, prices now, they are about uh, the same as they were in 2007. Uh, so um, prices uh, have corrected and then gone back up. Um, but of course, real inflation adjusted, real estate prices are down today versus um, 10 years ago. Uh, but um, Bubbles uh, usually in real estate uh, are, are, are generational generational bubbles, uh, and and so the mania phase uh, you have um, uh, decades of building up, and then a final decade of mania, uh, as you saw, for example, in Japan uh, in the 
um, 80s, you had a final decade of total mania, but the build-up was in the f uh, after the war, started in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and in 80s you had the final uh, uh, mania. In the West, uh, I think uh, this happened in early uh, 2000, uh, the final mania, but the build-up was uh, starting already also after the war in the 60s, 70s, you had actually a slow uh, real estate um, Real estate also inflation adjusted did not go up, might even have gone down somewhat. But then you had the 80s, 90s, and then the final uh, decade uh, after 2000. So it also was a 30 year uh, long bubble. Um, and so will this come back anytime soon? <clears throat> no. That story is over. Uh, and so don't expect this to happen uh, it's just to be, been way too recent that we had a bubble in uh, real estate so so the timing is just not good there um, it was the worst time in, to invest in real estate was 10 years ago but it's not yet a good time to invest in it um, I don't think so um, so okay, uh, you can of course look at uh, buying a house uh, as a luxury uh, and that's of course it has great advantages to own something uh, it gives you pride uh, gives you freedom a lot more freedom than when you rent uh, and um, I like to do what you want with the property uh, to, to design it the way you want and, uh, and change it the way you want um, and, and you could say that it, it is a security but you do pay a cost for it so I would not call it security but more like an insurance uh, against uh, fucking up elsewhere in life or having really bad fortune and, and then you have something to sell. Uh, that's poss that's true. Uh, but this problem, um, well, you know, insurance I, I, in general, I think, is just uh, not interesting financially. You pay someone else or you pay uh, basically money to get a, a feeling of security. Uh, but yeah, you lose money for that. And, and basically, you can also build security by just becoming richer, you know, having different assets, good uh, investments, different good investments that have a good risk reward ratio uh, that can go up, uh, have each of them have a good potential to go up considerably in value. Some will work out, others not, but this is what I'm trying to achieve in my life is, is, is such a kind of diversified portfolio. But each of these investments are good investments that you have a good chance to make good money on. And this is just not the case when you buy your own house. You're never going to make good money on that unless there's a real estate bubble there where you buy. And, and, and well, that's not going to happen in the West, uh, I think. Um, uh, so, 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 of course, there are some places uh, I'm here in Kenya, Nairobi, for example. Yeah, that's possible. I mean, Africa is not valued highly. Eh? Uh, uh, it could be the next Asia. Eh? It could develop a lot. Uh, that's possible. And then you buy in city centers uh, plots of land or, or just your apartment or, or, or house. It could be uh, going up uh, even I, after inflation, uh, 5 to 10 percent profit per year. You keep it for 10 years or even more yeah that's all possible and of course you always have uh, land speculation eh, where, where you buy certain pieces of land that that uh, that are in, in strategic zones and that you also have in the west of course where, where they will build a highway or they will build uh, some government uh, project and suddenly uh, the land uh, every, everywhere around becomes more valuable these things of course uh, that's that's something totally different and there is of course a lot of money to be made there but this is not buying your own house this is against it's a business uh, and uh, this video is not about that so um yeah um buying your own house okay uh, i think you can see as a, a a luxury uh cost and for me well it's it's something it's of course it, it would be beautiful i dream of that sometimes too a beautiful villa in miami for example a beautiful uh villa with your own uh, uh the sea in your garden uh, your boat in your garden yeah that's cool eh? your mansion uh that's really cool uh, but it's a luxury eh? and it's a very expensive one uh it's not a profit center at all uh so so that could be interesting but when i look compared to the other offerings eh, if you want to live a luxurious lifestyle these days 
you have uh, Airbnb and, 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 and so many, uh, or Booking.com, and so many places where you can rent very cheaply um, the same luxury. Uh, and so your capital isn't stuck in it. And, um, and, 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 and you're basically a guest uh, and um, a tourist, uh, but, uh, but uh, you get served much better than if it's your own hotel you need to run or your own uh, luxury mansion you need to run. It's a lot more work than renting one from someone else. And, and, and of course people then say, yeah, but the, the cost, hey, uh, having your own house or your own second home is cheaper than, uh, than renting it from someone else. But people forget uh, the lost opportunity cost they have by putting that money in that. Huh? Because there are many other things they could do with that money, invest it at a much higher return. And that's also a loss huh? for this choice. So, okay, if you just compare how much money I pay for rent co compared to how much money I pay if I buy it and I get an interesting loan from the bank, it's true, renting is more expensive. Um, but, um, but that's for the most part just because you have a cheap loan from the bank uh, below real inflation. Uh, so if you don't have that with your real estate, your returns are the same as inflation. That's 5 to 7%. And uh, you put all your money, you make by cash real estate, your returns are only 5 to 7%. Uh, and then you can rent it out and have some uh, extra income from that. But then you have to also uh, work for that or employ someone for that and pay taxes on that. So uh, the real return on rental income is only 1 to 2% uh, at best on the value of your property. So, so, so basically the rise in value is zero because it's just inflation. Uh, on average, uh, unless you're in a, a, a fast-growing area, uh, and um, and uh, and rental income is just way too low for the the capital you put into there. So so so, but this whole kind of deal becomes interesting when you have a cheap loan of two percent fixed for thirty years uh, from the bank. Yeah, that's three percent below real inflation. That's of course financially interesting. If you do that for your own home, it's also very interesting. But it means that over the period you have the loan, you make actually. A lot more profit than the seven percent that's not real profit you actually make 10 or 12 percent because thanks to the loan uh, and so your real return is like three or five percent per year but it's all thanks to the loan so um so you can do that uh, uh, uh but but then still what your real return is uh if you do the loan uh only uh three percent four percent per year uh and so let's say with inflation it's about 10 percent per year Okay, that, 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 that's okay, um, um, but, uh, but there's so many other investments that are much better. Um, uh, but of course you have to have your timing right. Um, and that's the nice thing about this real estate. Um, even if your timing is, well, not that good, well, you're still gonna have, thanks to the cheap loan, about uh, 3% or so per year. So that's nice, but um, yeah, you can have much, much higher returns uh, for example, um, uh, well, uh, crypto, of course, has much higher returns, but yeah, the timing might not be good now. Uh, but for example, um, yeah, it, that's the problem of investing. Eh? It's always you have to look for opportunities, willing to take a risk. And, 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 and this is also why the real returns of real estate are close to zero is because you're competing with uh, every butcher and baker and doctor and a lawyer uh, that has some money they all put it in real estate and they all want to rent it out and so the markets are over flooded uh, that's and that's very interesting for if you rent you have so many offerings uh, and you can rent actually very cheaply compared to the value of the property um, uh, so uh, uh, but that's because people are too lazy to use their brains to, to, and, and too scared to take a risk. Um, uh, uh, and that's why they choose these easy investment uh, opportunities. But it's not even an opportunity because everybody's choosing that. So you do have to use your brain and you do have to do some critical thinking. But while well, my channel has been uh, uh, and many other channels have, have, have shown opportunities uh, in crypto over the past few years, now I think I just made a video on uh, uh, nuclear energy, energy or just commodities uh, is an opportunity right now. Um, and what other opportunities are there? Um, 
Well, I'm sure if you're looking, you're gonna find one. Uh, opportunities are like buses. You miss one, well, 10 minutes later is another one. Huh? Uh, so, um, it's that's how it is. So voila, that was my short expose on should I buy real estate? I hope you enjoyed it. Lake Nakuru, that's where I am. In Nairobi, uh, close to Nairobi, Kenya. Have a great day.